Hello and welcome to this pit stop for Space Race, designed by Ian Sukal and Marek Luscott and published by Board Cubator. In Space Race, up to four players can be playing as different space agencies over seven rounds or seven decades, attempting to develop their own space agencies by playing cards in there and activating them to score the most points. Each player gets an identical deck of 12 control cards. At the beginning of each round, they're going to choose one of their cards and once they're all chosen, they'll be simultaneously flipped over. Now, all of the cards correspond to one of the four phases which the players can trigger. When they trigger a phase, they trigger it for themselves only. We then go through the phases, see which players have triggered them, and we activate them. In this case, the private entrepreneur has triggered a propaganda phase. First thing they do is activate their own card, and this says they can draft one propaganda card from the universe into their agency. Now, there are different areas cards can be. When they're in your agency, you can activate them, and they're going to score you points at the end of the game. In the universe, the cards which are on offer, and mostly it's player driven which cards get put in here. We're going to draft this one. And there's also a laboratory over here, which are cards which are waiting to be deployed. It's very difficult to get cards directly from your hand into your agency. You're going to have to either via card effects get them into your lab, getting in preparation to put them in your agency, or put them on general offer at the end of each round. Each player chooses some cards, puts them face down, then they will, they will get flipped over. And those are the cards you can draft from by playing your control card. Once we've done the drafting from the control card, we then trigger all propaganda powers which are in our agency. Now, the Eagle has landed has got an instant power, which if we had five cards in hand, which we don't, we could put a card into our lab, but this says we can draw a card instead, which is handy because we come back here to Richard Branson, who is the leader for this entrepreneur, and that says three cards from your hand can be put into your lab. So we'll do that right now. This is a left hand power and that will be triggered every time you choose this phase. This right hand power is one off and this says that we can draw three cards back into our hand again. That will then get covered over unless it gets uncovered by another card effect. Sputnik 1 as a one off will allow us to take one propaganda card from our laboratory and put it in play into our space agency. Luckily enough we just put one in there. That then gets covered over. And Alexei Leonov is again going to let us as a one off power draw cards into our hands. We've got plenty of cards in our hand going forward. The next phase will be the technology phase as triggered by player two here as the Americans. Again, they'll get to draft one card. I'm gonna take this one and then trigger any technology powers again, allowing them to take one technology card from their lab and put it into play in their space agency. Now cards don't always trigger on the turn off their types. These are both technology cards which you can put into play one of which triggers on a technology turn, and one of which will trigger on a different turn if I ever activated the space program phase as this power. We'll choose whichever one. If ever there's a conflict and two players have chosen the same phase, the player who played the highest card and they come in six, three, and one will get to choose first. In this case, this player is gonna draft from here, get to trigger their power, which is gonna let them draw cards or put cards into their lab in a similar fashion. The lowest value cards, the ones, always come with a bonus. So in this case, this player can draw a couple of cards into their hand or again, put cards from their hand into their lab and get them into play. And you're trying to get the idea here of the cycling. Now, the last phase that hasn't been triggered is the breakthrough phase. Breakthrough cards don't have actions for themselves on them and they don't have point values. All these numbers that you see on cards, not the control cards, but the cards in your agency, are equal to victory points at the end of the game. Breakthrough cards are slightly different there are four different types of them, and whichever agency has the most of each of the four different symbols is gonna score six points. Also after seven rounds, you're gonna score one point for each card that's been left in your laboratory, and the player who has scored the most points is gonna be the winner of Space Race. This has been a Game Pit Pit Stop. For more videos like this, please check out the Game Pit channel on YouTube. For more in-depth coverage of gaming, please find the Game Pit Podcast.